Thanks for tuning in for another drive test. Uh, actually, I say another drive test. We don't tend to do very many drive tests of RC surface vehicles on Essential RC. Our focus is on flying RC planes, jets, warbirds, those, those types of things down at our local model flying clubs. I belong to about five different model flying clubs in the local area. I like to support them. Um, so there isn't much other spare time to uh, to do surface vehicles but the, with the weather closing in you know for aut uh, autumn and winter less opportunity to go outside not no opportunity but less opportunity you know we've had quite a bit of rain in, and bad weather in the UK recently so I reached out to my sponsors of which I have quite a few now and uh, the first of those, Easy RC, was very generous and sent us quite a few things to promote for them. So this is the Easy RC 18th scale ready to run four wheel drive off-roader. It's called the Triton. So it comes with everything that you need in the box to get it driving. Let's not hang around, let's take it out of the box, let's see what we get. So the plastic carton out of the box and it's uh, two layers so take this off and you get the, the Triton itself. Let's put that over there. Uh, then take this layer off, and you've got the instructions, the controller, and a little baggie containing, uh, it looks like a socket spanner. Uh, the charge lead, USB charge lead for the for the battery that's presumably in the Triton itself and yeah so uh, let's take a look up close at the Triton itself so first thing on the outside uh, it's got some nice scale detail on here and some of these lights work apparently so I'll have to try it in low light and see how well they show up and in the bright sunlight outside never actually had a crawler style RC car before so and I've seen this at, sh at shows and it seems to be a growing kind of RC activity driving uh, RC crawlers over over you know very uh, bumpy courses so I'm I'm interested in definitely having a go so it'd be interesting to see how uh, how well this does over over rough ground and then the controller obviously it's in a trigger style controller so on off switch You've got the trigger and the steering and then some trim buttons left and right, uh, well steering left and right trims and throttle trims as well in the nice blue. So uh, just need to charge up the, the battery that's inside the Triton with the charge lead, put some double A's in here and we'll be ready to go.
So there you go, that was my little adventure with the Easy RC Triton. And uh, it was a lot of fun. It ran for at least 30 minutes, if not more. You know, I did that whole driving session, multiple takes that weren't even included in the video on the one battery. So uh, a good, you know, I was doing that for 45, 60 minutes at least. So you get a good runtime on that single battery, which incidentally, if I put the controller down, is under the hood that you just pull up with your, your nail and it goes just under there after you, you plug it in and there's a switch in there to actually turn it on. So a few things to point out with this. It's important, and I have been asked this before, that the throttle and the steering are proportional. So this is about as slow as it will go all the way to its full speed. Uh, and I think the, the thing to point out with that, you saw full speed, full throttle occasionally on the video. It's not especially fast, but it's not designed to be. It's a crawler. It's more about it going over rough surfaces and low throttle so you can go over climbs. And it, it does have the power to, to reasonable power for its size to, to do that. The steering is uh, proportional as well. So you can see there as I'm turning, it is proportional and it's about to 45 degrees. Now the, the one thing to point out with this, it only has one speed. There is no low gear or high gear, which you may find on other crawlers, but this is really an entry level crawler and I suspect that is why. The lights, if uh, work uh, like this, so it, on the throttle you start going forwards, then they come on like that, if you reverse, then the rear lights come on, and then there are indicators on the front. So when you turn to steer, then those come on. So there you go. I think it's pretty good as an entry level crawler. So the link for this is in the video description and the pinned comment, look it up for the price. But otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this uh, Essential RC drive test. We'll be doing a few more in the future, we've got all different sizes of um, RC cars and crawlers uh, uh, that I've got uh, that I need to review. So this is the first of many. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in uh, more flight or drive tests from Essential RC from me, Carl and Jason, then please subscribe. If you do, then please remember to click the bell icon for notifications. Also, give us a thumbs up on the video. It really helps others being able to find our videos as well. But thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon.